Come learn about prion diseases and a fictional but really interesting Earth science's connection to them in Star Trek Discovery, starting now. Hello! My name is Mohamed Noor, I'm a biology professor at Duke University, and I'm an occasional science consultant for the Star Trek universe. I'm really excited to talk with you today about prions and prion diseases. What are prions, how do they cause disease, and how were they depicted in Star Trek Discovery? So let's dive right in. In this episode, which is called Die Trying, the medical team that we see at Federation headquarters is trying to help some sick alien refugees. And the problem seems to have started when they stopped on a planet and they ate some of the indigenous plants or fruit there. The doctors say they had, quote, a cascade failure of the nervous system brought on by misfolded proteins. And these proteins are called prions. So the Discovery crew shows up and they're trying to help by getting seeds from these plants with proteins that have not misfolded. So let me break this all down a bit to try to explain the underlying science. Before we get to the prions, let me refresh you on what proteins really are. You may remember from some of my earlier videos that your cells have DNA, and that DNA encodes for the various traits in your body. Your DNA makes another molecule called RNA, and this RNA guides individual amino acids like alanine and leucine into assembling into a larger structure that we call a protein. Now, proteins are basically like the workhorses of your cells. They can act as enzymes. They can be antibodies against infections. They might maintain the structure or shape of the cell. But proteins aren't just five amino acids long. They're typically a lot longer, often hundreds of amino acids long. And importantly, they aren't laid out in this straight line, but instead they have a three-dimensional structure to them. Now this structure is often really important to their function. And if you change the structure, that might change how they work or how well they work. And this 3D shape of the protein isn't necessarily set in stone. Some proteins can change shape or fold in response to high temperature or chemicals or radiation. So with that, let's talk about prions for a minute. The word prion comes from the words protein infection. So PR from protein, ION from infection. And that helps describe what's happening. So there's this protein that's found in your body called PRP. Uh, it's produced by your cells, it has a particular shape, and over time, some of these proteins are broken down and replaced by the cell. However, something can go wrong sometimes where a differently folded form of this protein is made. This differently folded form has two bad properties. First, the cell can't really break it down very easily. And second, it's insidious. It can actually creep up on other prion proteins of the normal form and change them to match the bad form. So it basically comes what we would call infectious. You know, it makes other proteins turn to that bad form. And then this bad protein then accumulates on cells. It spreads to other cells in the body, et cetera, et cetera. So this photo shows prion proteins in red that built up along a bunch of mouse nerve cells. Now, these proteins are associated with really bad diseases, both in humans and in other animals too. One of the most famous of these bad diseases is mad cow disease, which is spread between individuals when they eat infected meat. Now, this infection pretty much attacks the nervous system and eventually it'll lead to this buildup of the bad form of prion proteins in the brain. Now, these diseases are extremely deadly, and worst of all, there's no clear treatment. Here's a screenshot from the Center for Disease Control website saying that no specific therapy has been shown to stop the progression of prion diseases. Whew! So with that, let's come back to the discovery episode. Now first, the aliens got this prion disease from eating plants that had a modified protein. Now, transmission to humans of prions that were made in plants is not something that we really know, and prion-like behavior in general isn't really well known in plant proteins. However, it's not a crazy idea. There are proteins from a weed called Arabidopsis that have a similar structure to prions, and at least one of these seemed to show prion-like behavior when tested in yeast. So really, it's not impossible. Now, plants obviously don't have nervous systems, <laughs> but there are proteins in plants that look structurally similar to proteins that we see in the nervous system of mammals. So one of those plant proteins behaving as a prion could maybe have an effect on the mammal that eats it, affecting their proteins. 
Now, fun fact about the protein mentioned here, mutations in that in humans are associated with what's called hereditary spastic paraplegia, which is a bad nervous system disease too. So in this episode, the aliens ate some of these plants, a misfolded protein from the plants caused a prion-like folding effect in some protein of the aliens, and that caused the nervous system problems and the seizures that we see in the episode. It's pretty interesting. Now, there's another piece I haven't touched on yet, and that's the original cause of the misfolding of these proteins. So Michael Burnham talked about the planet that the aliens visited, saying, quote, the atmosphere was thinning, and they feared high concentration of UVB radiation would mutate the biology of everything on the surface. So she's implying that that somehow made the prions. Now, the ozone layer around Earth does absorb a lot of UVB radiation, whereas it barely affects UVA, and CFCs, like those that come out from aerosol sprays or other sources, could have caused the ozone layer on this other plant to be reduced, which then allowed more UVB to actually make it down to the surface of the planet. And it's true that UVB can cause DNA mutations, and those mutations may have changed some of the plant proteins. On the other hand, UVB may also affect the proteins directly. Because again, like I said, the 3D shape of proteins can be changed by heat or radiation. So putting all this together, this was a neat earth science angle to the science of the episode where humanoid activity caused a planetary problem, which led to a biological change, which led to disease in future alien visitors. Lots of cool science all connected. Yes. Had you heard of prions before? What did you think of how they were depicted in this episode of Star Trek Discovery? Let us know in the comments and thank you for tuning in to Biotrekkie Explains. See you next time.